I am going to Dollar Tree. I'm going to find Beam a couple of insane Dollar Tree items to look at. See if he can have fun playing with them. And I'm not sure what I'll find, but I'm going to find something fun. Okay, while panning, I found some I liked. Pool table. It's a pool table game. Might be funny. Okay, we're gonna get that one. What about the dart? Looks like a dart board with two darts in it. Yeah, I like that one. Now, another one was watch my husband finger fight. That sounds fun. <laughs> and I'm gonna get him a little kitty one. He's gonna go fishing. Fishing, fishing, fishing. I like that one too. Fishing fun. I can't wait to see him fish. That's gonna be a dream. All right, so apparently Arlie tells me that uh, I get to look at strange or very odd items that she got at Dollar Tree. So apparently I am reviewing Dollar Tree items today. So there we go. Is that pretty much the gist of it? Yes, dear. Dollar Tree items. What made you think of Dollar Tree? I don't know. I was going in there to look and I saw them so I thought it would be funny. Right. So you, you get what I think is funny. Well, okay. Um, I guess without any further ado, by the way, welcome to Dean Triple D, and uh, thanks for playing along, thanks for taking time out of your day to sit and watch me do something completely nonsensical once more. So, all right, what's our first item? Uh, finger Fighters Combatants. So it, it's like, it, it's like, um, Rock'em Sock'em Robots that you wear on your fingers. Yes. Is that? Yes. I mean, that was a game pretty popular in the 70s. So here we go. Let's see if you can... All right, it. so we have two different ones, and apparently this lever moves them accordingly so I guess it, it's like that you put it on your finger and you move it with your thumb I guess that's kind of difficult unless you have like baboon fingers I don't <laughs> maybe I, I don't I guess maybe you could put it on your hand and use your other hand yeah. since you'd be only having one to see now that would make better sense. But see, here's the problem. You have to play with them with just two hands. I mean, I'm hitting the dog stew out of this <laughs> one guy, and there's... Nothing's happening. There's nothing. I know if you hit them just right and like rock them, sock them robots, you know, the head goes... Boom. Throws a right. The other a left. Knock his block off. You're the winner. You know, but this is just... You know, pimp slapping the crud out of each other, and you're not getting anywhere. There's, there's no real, there's no achievement. You know, there's, there's no uh, climactic win in any way. They, they don't do anything different. You know, the heads don't turn. Maybe if I hit it up this side. No. I mean, it's cool. They can just ah. But how do you deem a winner? If, you know, if the head don't pop or the arms don't 
pop off or you know something something that would declare a winner otherwise it's just wearing your fingers out you know so you, you do this yeah ha, 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 ha. who's winning I don't know yeah I mean it, it, it's just odd unless there's something I don't know I, I don't know does it say on here something will happen maybe I'm just not playing right no <laughs> you're not playing right <laughs> you know there's gonna be no it doesn't do anything can't knock their head off. It doesn't spin around or. Boring. That. The boys will probably love it. I would think that's just a waste of money right there. They'll love it. Although it's a dollar, I could, I could, unless my boys for some reason find some sort of mystical reason for them, I, I wouldn't buy them. Not even for a dollar. It's a waste of dollar. I just give them. Your the wife did. You did. <laughs> Your wife. <what? laughs> uh, okay. This is a low budget video today, guys. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the next one? I'm ready for the next one. Okay. Who's our next lucky contestant? All right, darts. So it has like a little board. And, and a couple of darts, but they're not needle darts. <laughs> the secret of the game is getting in the package. <laughs> yes, that is the secret of the game, it seems. And I'm smarter than plastic. All right, so we have a, the dart board. So I guess you hang that up, and then you throw the dart, and it sticks. But you only get two? Yeah, one for each. This is for ages six and up. So I don't I, I don't know if that'll Well it stays. Okay, well they stay in there. Here, throw them at it. I'll hold it, you throw it. There, there you go. I'm not good at darts. Alright, throw it. Yay! Alright, throw the other one. Okay, so it works. Yeah. You know, you, you don't have to be too far away, and you're at least, you know, like four feet away, and you got it to do it. That's worth a buck. That, it's kind of odd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't even do it. <laughs> This is for children six and up. Apparently, I'm five. <laughs> there's one. I know there's people that know me on a daily basis <laughs> saying, he can't throw. <laughs> okay, okay. This, this is kind of fun. You like it. What worries me, you see, there's no point or anything, so there's not really a danger. And it don't really hurt. But I bet this would hurt if you slap somebody upside the head with it. But no, not really. Should I give it a try? No, that'd be a good game. Like if you're like if you're driving, you know, they're in the back seat or something. They could hang uh, out on the back of the seat. I would not let the kids. As long as it was on your side of the seat. Yeah, because can you imagine them tossing it off? Did you have that come across your face? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> that that would probably not be so good here. <laughs> Get out the car. Hey, what happened? What was? <laughs> that one's okay. Okay. That one's alright. Next. What's next? I'm sorry. <laughs> Fishing fun. It's a little rod and a little reel. Apparently you fish for sea critters. Okay, we got a little starfish. Okay, see that? And then we got a little fish. It's upside down. And it's like a fish. Well, it was dead. <laughs> no. And it looks like I got crashed. <laughs> okay, we've got a little fishing pole. And you fish with it. All right. 
Can you get it? Well, it doesn't have like a release, like a pole, you know, just zzz. So you do that, so you fish with it. Um, fish first. I'm assuming that you put these in water. I'm thinking this is like a bathtub kind of toy for kids. If it was in water, uh, it would be even, even more difficult. I can't get it. Do you want me to put them in a bowl? No. We'll put them in a bowl. I put them in a bowl, they're gonna move more. Yeah, we'll put them in a bowl. That'll make it harder. Cause you Why can't you get them. make it harder? Let me see if I can get it. No. Let me see if I can get it. I'm not done playing. Okay, let me try the crab. You can... So, I mean, that's kind of groovy. And then you wind it backwards. And you drop it back in. You gotta take it off the hook. Like, you naturally have to take anything off the hook. Hey, hey, hey. You can't cook it with All that. Alright, this, this is okay for someone with the patience of... of a saint. Anyway, I can see the fun. You know, it's probably like a water thing. And you reel it in. You know, I'm either, like, really horrible at this, but, <clears throat> I don't know, that's kind of fun. You know, it reels in, and it unreels. It's unreal. You just can't get them off the table. I can't. Let me put them in a bowl. No. It'd be funnier. No. Yes, it would. Because, I mean, they would just, they'd probably, I, I don't know. They'd float. But I, I can see the purpose. It'd be, you know, you know, this would keep them occupied and a big enough challenge, even like a little video game that they play, a little game, you know, that they play, like the one I play all the time, is Plants vs. Zombies. It's like, gotta get it, gotta get it. This would probably stimulate them that, it's, uh, you know, that's worth a buck. That's worth a buck. I don't like the colors, I hate orange. Orange is like an unnecessary color. Unless it's an orange. But. You can't get it's it. It's just. You're still trying to get it. <laughs> cooking it is just, I mean, it, it like turns every way except the way you need it to go. I think it's a weird design flaw. I think it should be actually easier for children to do. But, oh well. That's gonna, you know, make it even more complicated. Nah, maybe not. So, all right, we got one more? One more. One more. What do we got? I got your favorite thing. My favorite thing? Yep. Pool table. It's a little pool table. Wow, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. You like to play pool? Well, I like to play pool. Well, I'm not like, I enjoy playing pool if I play pool, but I'm not like someone who goes out to play pool. You know, I need to go play some pool. No. No. I'm not a pool player. But you don't mind playing pool. Playing now you can play it at home. And, okay, so you get two pool cues. Oh, this is interesting. You don't you don't go at it like like a pull cue. You actually hold this green thing down, you pull it, and let it go, and it snaps, and that's what does it. This must be the the cue <laughs> or the the tip. So yeah, so that's how it does. It comes with a little. All right, so there we go. So that's how this works. That, that's kind of a neat idea. I kind of like that. Because, I mean, trying to... Really? No, it's just like lining it up and let go. And it goes with a little cue ball. Tiny little thing. Why do I have four of these when there's only two cue sticks? I don't know. All right. The balls aren't numbered or anything. For a dollar, I don't really expect it to be. And you got the table looks like a football artificial turf that they put on there. But you rack it, let's... You can put your black ball in the center? True. 
Wow, I've already lost and I didn't even pick anything up. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, apparently this table is uneven. You need a, an even table. Look at this. Without a stick, I am just all over the place. All right. I guess I need to put the triangle back up. Here, let me try a little piece of paper or something here. Put it underneath the end. It likes that corner. <laughs> it really does. Let me thicken this up. And I don't think this is actually a part of this thing's problem. I think it's it's actually... Wow. <laughs> I'm missing... Oh, here we go. So, let me try and take this off. I mean, you, the only way you can play this is on a complete flat surface, but I guess that's like a pool table anyway. Okay, it, it's just going to do that. So, for right now, we're just going to... I lost, wow, I lost all kind of, the Q went in and the A ball went in. Wow. Anyway, that's kind of groovy. Uh, I think just because of that, because of these, it's an e-concept. But having to have the most still, the most flat surface, I mean, I think you'd have more fun playing pool on a, on a, on a tablet or a video game <laughs> versus, you know, one like this. There you go. Well, that's all I got. What um, did you think of them? Huh? What did you think of them? Well, they're odd. They're interesting. I could see the fun in, like, the dartboard. I could see uh, the fishing one, like, in a tub. But... Uh, the other two, you know, not so much. Not so much. You know, the, the little punching robots or whatever they are, boxers, or... It doesn't... It doesn't... You know, I don't get it. And the pool table, I think that's more problematic and frustrating than it is to actually play it. But I do like the idea of the cue sticks But, I don't know, on a flat surface, it might be fine. So I guess that's okay. I guess the only one I don't like is the little finger fighters or whatever they are. I don't see the point unless they're, you're able to show some kind of, you know, some way to win. You know, otherwise it's just, you know, they got two plastic pieces slapping at each other and it'd be endless, you know? So I don't know. But anyway, that's a couple weird things from Dollar Tree that you get for a buck. And mind, it's only a buck, but you know, even a dollar, sometimes you don't even want to waste that. And two, I would say, are not a waste. And the other two, I would say they were. But anyway, uh, if you want me to do more Dollar Tree, I can do more Dollar Tree. Just leave it in the comments. Let me know what you want, and I'll do it. So until next time, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we already got some stuff lined up here in the very near future. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Make sure you hit that little bell for notifications. And uh, we'll keep bringing you stuff. Yeah, that's kind of what we do. Isn't that what we do? Yes. You like that idea? She likes that idea. I'm Barbara. trying to convince him to talk. He's just really good at talking. She says I talk a lot. I should talk about stuff. Maybe I should talk about stuff. Maybe I should find some dumb stuff on the internet and talk about it. Because we know there's plenty of dumb stuff on the internet. Just like a couple of these were really dumb toys. But anyway, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next week. Keep watching, keep subscribed. It's always good to see you. Booyah. <laughs>